Florida's First Lady Casey DeSantis has been diagnosed with breast cancer. The 41-year-old mother of three small children under the age of five has played a prominent role in her husband's administration, particularly on issues like mental health and substance abuse. She's also the chair of the Florida Children and Youth Cabinet. Governor DeSantis sent a statement saying, quote, Casey is the centerpiece of our family and has made an impact on the lives of countless Floridians through her initiatives as First Lady. As she faces the most difficult test of her life, she will not only have my unwavering support, but the support of our entire family. Well, that news is shining a national spotlight on breast cancer awareness and early detection. And joining us right now to talk more about that is Dr. Nikita Shaw, breast cancer specialist with Orlando Health. Good to see you, Doc. How are you? Morning. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. Good. So nice to have you. So obviously this is something that we would be talking about this month anyway, but when someone who is prominent, like the governor's wife is diagnosed, she's only 41 years old. It really sort of gives us some pause and reflection about how important early detection is. Absolutely. And, you know, typically we think of breast cancer in women who are older in their 50s and 60s, but about one in 200 cases are studying in their 40s. So it's certainly something that is seen in younger women, and that is why that importance of screening mammography is it's critical. Annual screening mammography starting at age 40 is what the ACR recommends. When you hear of someone getting diagnosed at 41, then of course you start thinking, gosh, should you start getting screened earlier? Maybe you should start at 30 or 35. How do you know? So for what is considered average risk, the starting age is still 40 and it's annual mammograms and there's no upward limit as long as a woman is in good health and can follow up on whatever else needs to be done, mammogram should be continued. We do start screening earlier for women who are what we call high risk, so family history, if they have certain kind of lesions on their imaging or on a biopsy. But for most other average risk women, it still starts at age 40 annually. And Doc, we hear a lot about that BRCA gene. How do you know if you have it? Is that something, especially like if you maybe don't know, like if you were adopted, you know, there are some things you should probably do to find out if you if you have that. So there are certain criteria for uh, what we call genetic testing. So anybody diagnosed under the age of 45 with breast cancer or with a condition called triple negative breast cancer, or if there's a family history of breast, ovarian, uh, cancer in the, in the uh, same person or in the family, young pancreatic cancer in the family, young prostate cancer in the family. So there are certain high risk characteristics that indicate that this may be a genetically driven cancer. And definitely for patients who are adopted, for people who are adopted, you don't know your family history. So if you're not sure, seek the advice of a genetic counselor. What about treatments? Because I think that, you know, if we know that if it's caught early, that it's very survivable, right? Some women beat it more than once. But what happens if you catch it later? So that's what we, when we say screening mammography save life, the cure rate for early stage breast cancer is over 95%. With later stages, there is more treatment that may be needed, chemotherapy, radiation, maybe more surgery. As of today, metastatic disease is not curable, but it is very treatable. And with the advances that we have in science, treatments continue to improve. But that's why that early detection is the key, because you don't want to wait for it to get to a point where you can't cure it anymore. Well, Doc, and I know you hear this a lot, women who are working worried about going to the doctor because of COVID, right? And I'm sure that there, we're going to see, sadly, that more, more cases potentially because women are scared to just go to the doctor even to get checked. What do you want to say to those women? So we are unfortunately already seeing that where a lot of women didn't go for their imaging or didn't go for physical exams last year. Places are open. You can safely get mammograms at many, many, many locations. So don't let that be a reason why you don't get your annual screening. If you feel something, doctor's offices are open now. Our, fortunately, our COVID-19 numbers are continuing to improve. So please seek help. If something doesn't feel right, don't ignore it. Seek attention for this thing. Wow, well, it's great advice. Dr. Nikita Shah with Orlando Health. Thank you so much for taking the time to be with us. Me. Thank you.